our own asteroid belt is a ring. Even a ring around the solar system is believed to exist. Discover uh, other practically is that uh, certainly, for example, no surprise should occur in a planetary nebula, NGC 6781, were found to emanate from and be a property of superbly large electromagnetic vehicle. This concept was poses no conflict with the notion that nebula rings result for radial expansion of matter from a central core. Like I say, this really is a, a, a warning to all of us about, you know, our immediate future, our actual present and immediate future. We we have to account for all of these things. And that's why he he doesn't use the term UFO. He say that, that when you call a, a vehicle UFO then you have no business talking about anything because once you know that and identify what it is that you're looking at is no longer a UFO. It's a IFO, Identified Flying Object. It's a electromagnetic vehicle. And anything is a vehicle. Your body is a vehicle for your soul. A car is a vehicle. A plane is a vehicle. I mean, vehicle is everything that can transport something. Animals are vehicles, biological vehicles. So you read all of this and really start thinking about every event and things that have been seen along our history. And you will have to conclude that what this old scientist, which is an illuminary in knowledge, this old man got his lawyer, uh, bar in one year. He passed the bar and got his credential as a lawyer in only one year. And he's 94. Ha! <laughs> i tell you how intelligent that man is. He has so many titles and diplomas. It's just incredible. So, and they try to poison him. After the, the, he wrote this book in 1985. Nobody knew about it, but when they, uh, and that is something that everyone needs to know. That Dr. Greer might be a planted, a double agent for the government and is posing as the good guy that want to have the ship or, how come this man goes to the Pentagon to have, you know, talk to the big people and, and you know, David Adair wrote a letter saying that he was treated weirdly in a conference that where he's supposed to talk and there were some people that had, you know, direct, uh, knowledge and has, you know, physical evidence of extraterrestrial vehicle. And when he went there, he was the only one. He found out that no one else had nothing. And in the end, they didn't even let him speak. And that he was uh, detained in his room for hours, for entire, for one entire day. And up to this day, Dr. Greer has never apologized or told him anything about why that happened. So thinking about all these things, again, you know, our, our planet is actually being a, a part, uh, really a, I don't know what the deal is, but we have been, we are being used as cattle.
This entity fee out, out of our terror, out of our negative energy. And that, that's why the constant wars and, and the suffering and the poverty and all that shit. They don't want us to know everything and become one solid planet We know uh, countries dividing it, nothing like it should be. One solid planet, a human Terran planet. No more wars, no more none of that. Let's just work together to solve all the problems. There will be no more uh, spending to create weapons and shit, no. Maybe what we need to do is to create things to heal diseases and shit and create conditions for a living, uh, a human living in an excellent environment where we respect every type of life on this planet. That's what I should, that's what I think we should really focus on. But for that to happen, we need to know everything about what is, what is these people are, these dark entities controlling and take out all these government assholes that are trying to, to you know, demise, planning our demise. An emotion frequently expressed by astronauts returning to Earth is a feeling that Earth is a very special place. Yet there are those who are willing to risk terminating Earth's special processes which have taken billions of years to attain. The trend is dangerous and foolhardy. Already an extraterrestrial explosion alone has been demonstrated at Tunguska. So that might be a, a vehicle that just went there, you know, just as a... The electromagnetical real and also can be attested by the author from a sighting experience back caught by photography and collaborative witness the now confirmed presence of an extraterrestrial nuclear power poses a hazard never contemplated before, especially an extraterrestrial interloper could in, in, initiate a nuclear blast which might well be confused by a concerned terrestrial nuclear power and start a freaking war. And that almost happened several times. So, like I said, you need to really read these last 25 pages and think about it. The SETI search for extraterrestrial intelligence is a bunch of bullshit. They, they, they are hoping to, to talk to somebody that uses radio. How in the hell uh, an intelligent, uh, intelligent uh, society will be co uh, connecting through radios when that is a hundred years old? That's old technology. My God, they should be using something more sophisticated and really, really high tech. Radio telescope shit, that doesn't do it. And it takes forever to go anywhere with a signal like that. It's all a, a, a drain of money and, and misdirection.
planetary satellite surface modification lengthy transmission of huge electrical currents and immensely high power electropotential fields. Oh my god, what well, this guy talk about here is really make you think and think hard. This is no some some shit that this guy made up. I don't know. talk about the telemetry phone. He was the top scientist on the Voyager 1 and 2 missions. And he, he that's where he discovered that well, NASA will not acknowledge any of it. Apparently there is a, a, a big time uh, division in NASA, those who want to tell the truth and the old guard that the, the old die hard and they want to keep the secret locked up and keep on pushing it. For example, in this past day the lie that was uh, seen on Mars that was they're still debating about that event. And some lady came out saying that the camera on the left didn't see what the camera on the right saw. But the day before, the same light was spotted in the same place. So, what, what, what the hell? Another thing is why they keep portraying like Mars has eyes on their poles when it's known that there is no eyes on Mars. If that was the case, then Mars would have rivers, huge rivers and oceans. All the ice, there is no eyes on, on Google, on, on the poles of Mars. Why Google Earth or Google Mars painted in white? The North and South Pole of Mars. Uh, that sound to me like they're hiding something really incredible there. And I think it is that there is an ex hexagon, a city in the shape of an hexagon in each pole, the North and the South, like it is on every single other planet. These are the books and the, the, the bibliography that you can research to get either more information or corroborate his work. Golly, this guy did a complete work. Like I said, this is not just a book, this is a exhaustive investigation with scientific methodology. This book is being sold for two to three thousand